Oh no, what happened? Oh. Oh no, what happened to Gragas? Gragas is screwed up right there. Oh no. Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Melon Marsh and today I'm going to look at a full League of Legends replay for you guys. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to get back to it. Now, this replay was sent to me by one of my subscribers and it was titled Goal for LOL Tournament Round 7 um, in the finals. Now, I don't have any other replays regarding the tournaments or the other rounds of this um, series, but I do what I can because I don't have any connections regarding the League of Legends tournament just because it's kind of hard to get them unless you're well connected with the actual pro players which I'm not now I believe that I am gonna have the view of team SK or uh, the two teams I'm, I'm gonna be casting are team SK versus team Mir. now team SK is kind of known at least to me because um, I used to watch them during the World of, War World of Warcraft tournaments in arenas for team Mir, I'm not too sure but other than that, I want to explain the little setup I'm going to do for the full replays um, casting because as you guys know, these games are long and if you watch my previous videos, you guys will know that back in the day, I would try to look at the tab. Um, I don't know why she was like that right now, but when you look at the tab or whatnot, um, I would miss a gank, I would miss some action. So around 15, um, 30, and 45 minutes. Um, each each one of those spots, I'm gonna pause the game and look at the score, look at the stats, look at the item builds, creep score, and whatnot, and just do a little update during the video. So with that out of the way, let's just get to the gameplay. So right now you can see the team mirror just clairvoyance team SK, and team SK should be doing around the same thing. Um, they do is just because you can see what items they get, um, which direction they're going, but it's kind of obvious that they're all gonna move towards the same. Um, area together. He's got Team SK just pinged here, so the whole team is going to go there. And that they use Clairvoyance early just because that by the time they get around here, Clairvoyance should be up. Um, I think the cooldowns are on 30 to 40 seconds, something like that. It's pretty short. So once Team Rocket, they should drop a ward right here. Um, Soraka, I think pretty sure Soraka just dropped a ward. Um, this, just to show, like, just give the team a little map awareness because around early game, um, pro at pro level gameplay, they move out as a team. Move, move, they usually move around the bushes around here, uh, around here. That's why um, Soraka is clear right here. And as you see, Team Mirror just um, this guy here, the clear one here, just in case that Team SK was hiding in the bush over here. So now Soraka is probably gonna drop a ward at the golem probably because she did have like three sight wards up and one vision ward. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, but Team, team SK, I mean, that Team Mirror is going to chill right here. It is going to hide in bush right here, so who knows what's going to happen. Um, team SK is going to move as a team. They did drop a word at the Golem. And once again, they're going to move together. And the creeps are going to spawn right about now, so pretty sure there is not going to be a level 1 fight. Um, that would be exciting. They did clear voice here and see that Team Mirror is going to be here. And there's clear voice here to see what's going to happen, but since the creeps are here, um, each champion is going to move to their respective spots. So, um, let's see, I'm guessing Akali is going to be in mid versus um, Anivia, Greg is going to go up top, and I'm guessing Soraka and Ash is going to go bottom with Nunu jungling. And I am surprised to see that Akali is going to be mid, um, I would have thought Ash would be, but um, I'm not pro, so maybe they're gonna make it work somehow. Gragas is gonna face against Swain, and Ash and Soraka are gonna face against Sivir and Tarek. Now, um, you see this little squabble up here. Um, 
uh, with Gragas. It's gonna try to um, bum rush um, Swain just a little bit, do some damage, but nothing's gonna go too severe. I'm pretty sure the health bar and the level thing is gonna be a little glitchy. I wish, um, I wish Riot would fix that. Um, I wish Riot would just release a replay um, option or setting in general instead of releasing a champion every two weeks. But I'll get to that later. I uh, just want to check any action going on. Um, so I did drop a word here, so it's not going to be shenanigans. Tarek and Swain, I mean, um, Gragas and Swain is going to squabble just a little bit. Um, they did both ignite each other, so um, let's see what happens. I think Gragas is going to be a little too aggressive, and he dies. Oh, that was a huge miss, miss click. He got too close to the tower, and tower just hits them. Too bad the health bar wasn't working. We'll see what happened, but. Uh, he got hit by a tower and the ignite finished him off. And yes, you guys can see that they are speaking a different language. Um, pretty sure Team SK is a European team. And I think both teams are surprised. And Swain's like, what just happened? But Swain just go back. He got first blood and he just pinged that Rambus is here. But uh, on that first blood, first blood gives you 400 gold. And with that, he's probably going to pick up boots. <laughs> and you see Greg is, is not too fun that he just died so easily. And you can see that Neva did use uh, uh, Flash Frost on um, Akali, but she did get hit in, the, um, in her little smoke bomb, so he can follow up with the Frostbite. So, um, a little bit on Nivea. Nivea is, the, I believe, the strongest champion, uh, not, not strongest, strongest caster champion. Cause she is the hardest to play, but she deals enormous amount of damage with her combo, with her ult, followed with a flash frost and then frostbite, and it does enormous, enormous amount of damage. You guys ever face against her? It is a bitch to face against her just in lane, just because um, her flash frost is such a long range. If you get hit, follow up with a frostbite, um, it does a good amount of damage. Um, other than that, yeah, and her ult. Um, not her ult, her passive early, you can see that <laughs> uh, Akali did have to flash away He saw that Swain was from top, he went down He was gonna bind her with Nivea's um, wall there And Rambus was rolling in um, Akali had no choice but to flash out So now with bottom, um, you see that Soraka and Tark are pushing ass And Soraka pretty hard uh, Swain is back up and Greg is gonna try to bum rush Swain, but he's gonna bind them, and that's gonna just totally the game. And the creeps are just pounding away Greg is. Um, that's the bad thing about being a little aggressive. That's if you're not successful, you will actually do less damage to the enemy champion, and the creeps will do more damage to you, and you will have gone out negative in that attempt to harass. So, um, Team SK is gonna be being pushed a bit. Um, Mid is being pushed by Nivea. You see Nivea is going here. See there's a little gang. You see um, Silver is going to teleport. She's going to teleport up top, and Greg is being knighted with Rambus right here. He flashed for it, and <laughs> Boomerang just owned um, Gragas. But at the same time, you guys can see that Tarek got ganked at bottom. So it was a trade-off. Tarek got got killed, but Gragas got killed as well. But the only bad thing is that Greg is now currently he's zero and two with 13 creep score. And he's swinging at 16, and he's ahead with um, with uh, one and zero, but he got the experience for two kills. So right now, Greg is really, really behind. So uh, he needs to do some serious farming and some serious catch up. He needs to get a kill or something. And Akali is gonna go up top, maybe just cover top just a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, right now, bomb tower is gonna be killed, but Silver is gonna come back. So let's see what happens there. But as you can see, this uh, this is probably a warden here. This is where Sivir teleported to. Now with teleport, Sivir acts as like a twisted fate or a Shen where she just teleports anywhere. This is with a teleport ability. Now middle is gonna be uh, free farm by Nivea, but Nivea is come and just gonna absorb the experience and gold here. And a little about League of Legends that League of Legends there is no penalty for dying, such as Dota or Han. Um, because of that, um, in order to get ahead, is that it's the little things that matter. Um, if you see creeps here getting killed by the tower and no one's there to observe the experience or get the gold from killing the creeps, that's a waste. 
because there's no one there to pick up and League of Legends is all about slowly incrementally getting ahead of the other teammates that's why dragon is so important where you get dragon it gives the team global gold global experience and brings the teams up, up just a little bit ahead to get your team a little advantage so other than that you see that wards are placed here uh where was placed there as well bottom is being um it's a little still man it's going back and forth back and forth um they can ping they're pinging they're saying that you know what Rams is possibly going to be there uh, Anivia is missing. I'm pretty sure with Ramus and Anivia missing, well, Ramus is obviously young, with Anivia missing, he's probably gonna get the blue buff. Um, just because that uh, Anivia, you guys have played her, she's very, very mana dependent, and that in order for her to um, use her spells, just to spam her spells effectively, she needs the blue buff. Right now, I see that um, Swain did get ignited, and that. Um, a clairvoyance was dropped here and Anivia did get the blue buff. Now that is dangerous for Akali because with I see if Gragas what happened, he Greg is getting pushed back. Uh, Swain did all oh, did try to bind them, push him back, and bottom is being pushed by Sivir. And Tarek. Um back to what I was saying, yeah, this is kinda dangerous for Akali because with the blue buff, um Nivea is freely gonna able to just to, to spam her spells. Now you, well, because of the war you see a Rams is gonna be in the bush. And that um, because that Nunu is going to try to support up top. Um, with that being said, Nunu is going to see try to do a gank, hopefully. Um, but Ram is going to roll up, roll back up, and there's going to be little gains right here. He's he's going straight for Gragas. Um, he's going to get taunted, and Nunu is it's great position to all. He just dropped his absolute zero for all, and they were managed to pick up Ramis. But at the same time, Gragas was picked up by Swain. And now Swain is really in trouble. He um, ice blasted him, and Swain was picked up. And Nivea's gonna come up top and see what happens. But he's too close to his tower, and with the creeps coming to support, um, you knew nothing's gonna happen. And Nivea's gonna be pushed back out. The thing with um, Nunu is that because of his consume spell, he is just gonna consume a creep like he just did, and just get back an enormous amount of health. And he's back in the lane, and he can just really just farm the creeps. And I'm not sure where Nivea is. Nivea is going to chill back here trying to harass Nunu or push him back, not to allow him to free farm. And Akali is going to be freely farm mid. And I'm pretty sure someone is going to come here and just try to ward Akali off uh, eventually. And Silver is at bottom. I'm not sure where Tarek is. Um, Ash did go back and leaving Soraka here to just chill out. She did use all her wars. She's out of. Wars of health potions and she has to go back to base soon. Ramus is gonna cover middle and he's gonna go back to jungle soon. Someone is gonna probably come up here soon. Um, top is um, gang back and I'm thinking Greg is, is 0 3 at the moment, so Greg is way, way behind. And Akali is going back to middle and you can see she's got her hex text revolver. And that's gonna help Akali a lot once she spam her spells and team fights. So she's gonna get back an enormous around HP with her skills and at the same time her passive. So they're pinging right here, saying that um, Ramus is gonna be there. Um, this showing that he is gonna be preoccupied for a good 10 to 20 seconds, killing that buff. So they shouldn't worry that much for just a little bit. And Nidu is gonna still jungling. And yeah. This is gonna be a long game. Um, I never casted StarCraft 2, but I do watch a lot of StarCraft 2 commentaries, and luckily they only commentate for maybe 7 20 minutes a game. Sometimes it lasts longer. But League of Legends is the average game, is around 4 or 5 minutes, and I'm not sure how other commentaries do it, but it's just a lot of talking. But other than that, um, you see that Akali is gonna be aggressive with Swain. She's gonna do her to a smoke bomb. She's gonna ult in, use her.